In this video, we're going to have a look at creating a roof on our house, and we're going to use the roof by footprint method. First of all, I'm going on to my first floor plan, and then in the architecture tab, the little drop down arrow under roof and roof by footprint. This now brings up the modify or create roof footprint. Before we actually select these, I'm going to go to the properties. I'm going to find a roof type that's similar to the one I want. And then I'm going to edit type. It brings up the type properties box, duplicate, have a little look at the option that's here. Now, I don't want plasterboard on here. I do want trusses. I don't want the insulation because I'm just going to have the insulation along the ceiling joists. But the battens and the felt, we don't need counter battens. So I can delete those. There we go. And that's fine for tiles. So I'm going to OK that. And then I'm going to edit the structure and now make that structure match. So we have the roofing tiles, 38, the battens, which are wood, 25, the membrane layer for the roofing felt. We can delete this row. The insulation can be deleted. Then we've got the trusses. Again, if we just stretch the box out, we can just read that a bit more fully. And I don't need any wall boards either, so I'm going to delete that. Now, what I'm also going to do is just move this core boundary so it's around the trusses rather than the whole roof. There we go. And I'm happy with that construction. <clears throat> I'm going to click OK. Now, it's brought up a little error for the layer functions. Um, so we'll just have to correct that. And I think it's to do with these numbers here. So what I'm going to do is just change that one. And we'll just change it to that and see if that's OK. There we go. And then we can click OK. So that's the structure of the roof. I'm going to change the base level of the roof from first floor to wall plate. And in the options bar here, we'll notice we've got defines slope. We've got overhangs and extends to wall core. So that's important to pay attention to. We are selecting our boundary line and we've got the pick walls option selected. Now, I'm going to assume that this house could be part of a row of houses. Hence, I've got no windows on sides and therefore the roof I'm going to slope from front to back and have the sides with no slopes. So define slope and if we again scroll down in the properties we should be able to... Um, nope we can't find the pitch by there. We'll do the pitch once we put them in. I'll show you how to do that. So define slope. Extends to wall core, yes. This means we can get it to sit on the inner skin of block work. Now, remembering we got our brickwork and the cavity of about 250. And then we say we want another 200 mil beyond that for the overhang. So our overhang is going to be 450. Again, make sure you put the cursor on the outside of the building. And you'll see here it's now brought up the pitch of 30 degrees. If you want to change that, you can just click on it and change it. You also now have it in the properties. Then I'm going to deselect the defined slope. So we'll have two sides without a slope. If you do accidentally click on the wrong side of the wall, you can click these arrows and just flip it in and out like so. And then I'm going to press the big green tick and then flick across to the 3D view and we can see our roof like so. Now at the moment um, we can see there are big gaps which are not desirable. 
Therefore, what I'm going to do is move the cursor to the edge of one of my walls so we can just see the blue boundary of the wall. Then I'm going to tap the tab key on the keyboard, so that's the one above caps lock, and then click the mouse. And now we can see that all of the external walls are selected. And I'm going to use the attach top command. Point at the roof, make sure you get the blue boundary and click on it. And now it has filled those gaps. And we can see the wall has completely filled the gable ends and the roof is now there. So that's now our roof on the building.